hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in today uh, today's video uh, we are going to discuss about uh, another sensor which, which will be used for uh, the measurement of a physical parameter now in today's video we are going to discuss about the capacitive sensor which will be used for the measurement of liquid level now mostly it is uh, used in industrial setup for measurement of various liquids in the manufacturing sector for various purposes so we'll discuss that now before we discuss about uh, the setup the constructional setup and working principle and all that first let us just uh, discuss some basic things related to capacitive sensor now the capacitive uh, level measurement sensor as I said any capacitive transducer actually is based on the principle of parallel plate capacitor we have two capacitor plates which are separated by a certain distance that is the whole setup of a capacitive transducer now this capacitive level measurement sensor as the name suggests it is used for the measurement of liquid or water level in industries as well as uh, in other uh, purposes also for measurement of water level in a container or uh, in, in, in a uh, in an artificial dam or something so this level sensors are used so the capacitive transducer the capacitance of the parallel plate capacitor is given by c is equal to epsilon a by d which is written as epsilon 0 epsilon r a by d now this a is the overlapping area of the two capacitor plates if these are the two capacitor plates overlapping area is the portion or the area which lies one above the other okay the portion of the area of the two plates which lie one above the other that is the overlapping area and d is the separation distance between the two plates so the uh, epsilon 0 is the absolute permittivity or the permittivity of free space and uh, epsilon r is the relative permittivity or the permittivity of the medium which lies in between the two plates but be it uh, a liquid in this case it will be the liquid which will be the uh, medium uh, occupying the space between the two plates so the change in capacitance can be brought about by the change in the following three parameters first is the separation distance between the two plates second is the overlapping area any change in overlapping area will cause a change in the capacitance and third is the change in the permittivity or the dielectric constant now in case of the capacitive transducer for level measurement the constructional setup is something like this we have uh, let's say a tank or a container which contains a certain liquid okay the level of which is to be measured so the setup will be something like this at a particular point in the tank or the container we will have the capacitive transducer basically it will be two capacitor plates connected at the two ends of the outer uh, region of the tank they will be separated by a certain distance which will be equal to the diameter of the tank okay now when the liquid level in the container or the tank it rises it will increase then and will reach the capacitive transducer it will touch the plates of the capacitive transducer there will be a change in the relative permittivity the absolute permittivity will be constant it cannot be changed the permittivity of free space or air but the relative permittivity will change okay this relative permittivity will change when the water or liquid level whatever the 
substance is there in the container when it rises this relative permittivity will change okay the medium between the two plates so it will cause a change in the capacitance okay the absolute permittivity will remain constant so when the liquid or water level is below the capacitive transducer is not touching the plates the capacitance will be given by this simply c is equal to epsilon 0 a by d absolute permittivity because the medium between the two plates is air free space nothing is there so the capacitance will be given by this when this water level rises and touches the plates the capacitive plates the medium between the two plates will be water or the liquid contained in the tank so in that case the permittivity will be this epsilon 0 epsilon r a by t this extra thing which is the relative permittivity will come into play now this uh, capacitive transducer can be employed in several ways now this uh, setup it uh, it only indicates whether the water level has reached this level particular level or not basically it is used in uh, for purposes where the level of the substance or the liquid it has to remain below a certain danger level so when the liquid level rises an alarm is generated that the liquid level has reached the danger point so it is a one-off indicator it will either indicate whether the liquid level is below or above the danger point or it has reached the danger point uh, danger point or not but it does not measure the level of the liquid on a continuous basis it does it, it does not say at what liquid level uh, at what level the liquid is right now if it is below the transducer plate the capacitive transducer plate we will never know at what level exactly it is only when it reaches this capacitive plate when it touches the plate the sensor is activated because only then the capacitors the capacitance will change so for that for continuous tracking of the liquid level what we can do is that we can connect a series of capacitors okay right from the bottom to the top we can connect an array of capacitors so when the liquid level increases it will touch one of these uh, array the series of capacitors and we will get to know the level of the liquid at a continuous on a continuous basis okay for that for continuous tracking of the liquid level we have to connect multiple capacitors a series of capacitors the more the number of capacitors the more accurately we can track the liquid level suppose here we start the uh, the capacitive plates from here so the number of readings will be more more accurately more precisely we can track the level of the liquid okay when it touches when it reaches this level this capacitor transducer combination will be activated when it reaches this level this combination will be act this uh, transducer uh, combination will be activated when it reaches this level this will be activated so this is for continuous tracking of the liquid level now the change in capacitance again like any capacitive transducer we can convert this change in capacitance into a suitable voltage or current signal with the help of suitable signal conditioning arrangement which is generally ac bridges involving capacitance in one of the arms and another way is the tank circuit okay lc circuit inductor inductance capacitance circuit so mostly the ac bridges technique is used so it converts it into a suitable voltage or current signal then it is passed through suitable signal amplification power amplification stages to give us the output in terms of voltage or current in a magnified way amplified manner so this is the whole principle of capacitive sensor for measurement of liquid level so we have discussed about the various things associated with it starting from 
the measurement of liquid level the working principle and the constructional setup so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much